Today I'm playing the solo victory cash cup, but with the twist. Bro. I'm doing the no gun challenge. Meaning I can only use grenades and heals. And to make my life easier, I'm doing it on zero build. But the goal of this video is to see if I can qual. Qual's around top 2500. It's around 112 points. Let's see if we can do that first. Game number one was for sure interesting. I had one person landing on me. Little Timmy right there, oh no. And he was for sure not a freaking chill guy. This man was chasing me everywhere. He wanted me dead with a freaking capital D. No D D. Luckily, this guy didn't have the best shot and the motivation to kill me. So I ended up getting away. And then I began to stack up my loot little by little by finding bunkers, boogie bombs, you name it, I found it. And this is where I kind of freaked up, okay? This man was Spider-Man or something because his spidey senses were going off like crazy. He just chucked a freaking boogie bomb in my big ass bush and the rest is history. Wow. I knew he had a boogie bomb. I low-key knew he had a boogie bomb, bro. I seen it. Oh, wow. He claims that he saw the boogie bomb and yet just sat there and watched the whole thing happen to him. But besides that, moving on to game number two. Game number two was a game of wonders. Let me show you. This time, we had a bunch of people landing here. Not one, not two, not three, but four people here, including two ice spices with the same skins. So I had to play it differently. I took the nuclear power plant and then rotated to the back area of the building so I could get my loot. Even with everyone landing here, I still managed to acquire my desired loadout. By sneaking around, I managed to pick up a bunker, a grappler, both key for an end. Game. I ended up rotating to zones slowly and slowly but surely, waiting for zones to come in and come out. While rotating, I did get sniped at, but it wasn't anything oh too God. crazy to knock me off my tracks. Now, right here, I just used these reds to my advantage, kept going in and out until the next zone was revealed. Now it was time to find a camping ground. Luckily, I knew where every rift is at, and one of them was just outside a zone right under the bridge. I ended up finding the llama. Wasted some of my grapple shots. Probably wasn't worth it. But I sat there as long as possible until someone rolled up. Woo! Ah, potato! You think you guys are not as smart as me, bro? I know where all the roots are at, chat. I know where all the roots are, bro. I've been studying the Fortnite books, bro. Okay, OG, calm down, calm down. But now we're in the end game. I waited last minute to take the rip so I can flow as long as possible and look for a spot to hide. Because I don't know if you guys don't notice, I don't have any grenades or anything to do damage with. So I gotta hide and play rotations as good as I could. And that makes sense. But now it was time to rotate. I'm not gonna lie, it got crazy. I wanna know how problems, bro, with y'all hacks, bro. Hey man, bro, I want a problem, bro. I want a problem, bro. Yeah, I have no idea what me and this guy were doing. We we're just looking at each other, both popping med kits, and now I just booked it. I'm not rotating. I got nothing on me, just minis. Now I'm moving around. Just someone to my left of me. I go on top of the building, bro. And I'm just, I'm just praying, bro. No one kills me, bro. No one touches me because I have my pickaxe out. That's probably the dumbest thing I could do. But just keep watching. Oh, Uga Uga. I need you. <laughs> oh my god, it's just me and my minis, bruh. Hey, chill, bruh. Hey, chill, bruh. Bro, chill. We. <laughs> what an amazing game. It put me at 65 points, and at this rate, I can easily qual. Ba, 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 ba. There's always something in the mix about to happen. Now I'm in high elo, meaning I'm in the territory of games that people have the same amount of points as me or as more points than me, if that makes sense. So it's about to get really, really hard. Game three, we already had someone chase me off spawn, bro. And I'm booking in, bro. Let's see what happens.
Is he invisible? Yup, straight clap. I didn't even get a chance to fight. I threw grenades. Nothing happened though. Moving on to game number four now. It was like a movie. That's all I could say. Same thing as usual. This time I was faster. Got my bunkers and got I'll a back, bro. and began my road chases now. Jeez. Until Cap. the absolute beam. Bro, what do you want? Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, what you call harassment, bro? Yeah, that guy had no chill. He wanted me dead. I ended up getting away and then going for the rest to get out of there. And then I did the rifting over and over and over and over again because it's broken and it's the easiest way to get zoned and rotate. And now I'm lazy. Probably shouldn't have gone straight towards him like that, but since I'm a chill guy, this is really bad. You know what I'm saying? I sat in my bunker until the zone made me move. So me when I was moving in to zone, I didn't get, I didn't get shot at. I just threw it and we were in. It was pretty, it's pretty chill. Uh, uh, until now. Yep, now I'm 40 HP. That guy's probably outside right there waiting for me to come out. And now I'm gonna just sit on top of here, try to clean up as many placement points as much as possible. And I keep moving around. It's probably my biggest mistake where I just gotta sit still. I gotta sit at, you know, at an angle so that people don't shoot at me. But no, no, I'm just so curious. I'm so curious. That game got me to 95 points, not too bad. All I gotta do now is just get 20 more points. Shouldn't be that really hard, right? Moving on to game number five. Game number five was most definitely interesting. I had to play my best. And I most definitely had people land here. So yeah, I had to be sneaky and get my loot and get the heck out of here. As I was for sure, I was getting lucky with the zones and rhythm and shit. I was pulling them. But let's see what happens. I was getting buggy bombs and a little bit of buckets here, you know what I'm saying? I was just being very, very careful oh my for my rotations because I knew there was still someone here. Even though zone pulled out of here, I'm for sure there's still someone oh here. But I'm goodness. playing, I have a med kit, I have clingers. So if he wants to fight, I'll throw those clingers at him, bro. I, and I'm not scared. And I just managed to get a grapple as well. So now this is my sign to get out of here, start rotating the zone, and start going towards the upper side of the map. While rotating, I was trying to find a nice spot to chill. But I found this guy right here camping harder than me. It's one ticket, that was a close call. Holy freaking moly, that was a close call. My plan now was just to keep looting up, then storm, and then go back when I was ready. I did manage to find another bunker, but the price of freaking swapping my clingers. Now I can no longer do damage, just throw boogie bombs, and stall as much time as possible. I parked here there for, I don't know how long, probably 30 seconds, you know, try to rack up as many points as possible and to see where the next zone is gonna move in. I mean, is that a zone? Is that worth it? I'm swimming for, I'm going for a swim. Now this guy right here, he was a freaking rat. I don't know what his deal was, but he wanted me dead. He kept on spraying, on spraying, on spraying, no matter what. He was a freaking lunatic, bro. And he started chasing me, bro. If, I, if I'm mistaken, look.
Wow, wow, wow. What a way to end it. With two games left, I still managed to qual with a solid 138 points. Now that was just the first part of the challenge. Now I have three games to play out since I for sure qualified. And all I gotta do is win one game to win $100. Let's see how we did. I just killed him. The hacker, bro. I just pushed everyone shot in care, bro.